Hello, welcome to bcping.com. My name is Arun Nair. Today I'm going to take you through two applications that you can use to stream your iPad or iPhone screen to your PC or Mac. In other words, you can actually mirror your iPad or iPhone screen to your computer uh, using these two applications. So they are basically the first one is Reflector and the second one is Air Server. Now both these applications are paid applications however they are available for free of cost for a trial version. So Reflector for trial version you can use it as long as you need. Uh, the only limitation with uh, the trial version is you can use it only for a period of 10 minutes. After 10 minutes it will automatically shut down. Air Server you will get all the, all the features that you have with the regular version but you can use it only for 7 days. Both these uh, applications, Reflector and Air Server, use the built-in AirPlay feature of iPad and uh, iPhone. In other words, you don't have to install anything on your iOS devices with iPad and iPhone. Okay, so let's go ahead and install Reflector on your PC right now. Alright, so to install a demo version, you can just uh, click on Try Reflector. Now, if your computer is a 32-bit computer, you can just click Need Windows 32-bit instead. So mine is a 64-bit PC, so I can just go ahead and click uh, Try Reflector. So it's downloading right now. You can see at the bottom. Okay, so now that it's downloaded, I can go ahead and run the setup file. It's pretty straightforward. It's like any other Windows application. So, accept install okay so it's installed now you need to go to your search and type reflector so click on this okay so I don't want to check for updates now so click don't check so I'm going to just run the trial version so I'm I'm going to click try reflector so it says you are trying, you are running Reflector in trial mode. Reflector will automatically close after 10 minutes when running in this mode. So that's okay. We just want to try this. So 10 minutes is good enough. Okay. So once Reflector has started, you will see uh, Reflector at the bottom right in the system tray. Now, once uh, Reflector started running, uh, just go to your iPad or iPhone and uh, double, cl no, double click on your home button and move to the left you will see this icon the airplay icon getting displayed so just click on that and uh, you need to select your uh, computer on which you need you want to stream so my computer's name is studio so now uh, it will ask me mirroring on or off so I am just going to select on all right so now I can see on my screen I, it, it has already you know, started coming up so I just click the home button now I can I can go through different applications I can go to Chrome and uh, say I can go to uh, my mails and uh, I can I, whatever I do here it gets reflected over there that's you know, <laughs> probably that's why it's called reflector alright so let's try to play a video file so let me go into uh, videos so okay all right so let me play this and let's see how it ha I know how it goes so I you know you can see the movie being streamed directly okay that's cool all right so once you're done you can just exit out of it okay so that is it about uh, streaming through reflector now let's explore the other cool features that we have with reflector now I can move this window 
where I want, you know, where I want. So uh, that's a pretty cool feature. So let's right click on it, and uh, you have an option called Start Recording. So I can also record uh, record my screen. So whatever I do on iPad, so I can just record them. So I can uh, get into full screen mode like this, or if I hit Escape, it actually comes out and you still see your iPad screen, but you can still see your background. So that's a pretty cool feature. Okay, now what you can also do is you can set the uh, set the orientation. If you want to, you know, force it to be in landscape, you can just put landscape and it, you know, it flips over. 90 degree okay so you can just put flip force portrait so that is all about reflector now let's try air server okay so I'm just going to right click here click close connection and it just exits out now you can go here you can right click and you can exit reflector now let's try air server okay so now let's take a look at air server which is the other application uh, so I go to airserver.com, click on download, and it gets me here. So I have a separate set of file for PC and separate set of file for Mac. So I'm going to choose PC here. All right, so it, it is asking me for my first name and last name. So I'm going to enter my first name and my last name and my email address. Email address, repeat. Right. So, if I click download now, it'll just download, but you have to come again to the same place to activate it. So, instead, I, I can select request activation. So, it'll send an activation email to me and it'll also have the download link. So, I click request activation. So, it's email confirmation sent. An email has been sent to your email address cn.arun at hotmail.com. Please click the confirmation link in the email to validate your email address and download Air Server. Okay, so I'm going to go to my email and open that email. So let me pause that video here. Okay, so I have received this email from Air Server, which says, Thank you for requesting a promo activation for Air Server to activate and download. Please follow the link below. Right, so I'm clicking this. So it says uh, your activation code is this one. All right. So I'm going to click download now. So it's downloading. Okay. So it's downloaded now. Let me go ahead and run the program. Okay. So I'm going to run the setup file. Next. I agree. Next. Next. Next okay so it's installed and when I click close it it is going to automatically launch uh, air server here so I'm gonna click so it's asking me for activation code Facebook or other email address so let me I have my activation code here I can enter that or I can also enter this email address to which it sent this activation link so I can just enter the email address which is easier click activate all right, so air server has been activated. When you press close, air server, will, air server will start running. You can access its settings from the air server icon in the system tray next to the clock. So I'm going to click close. So I see air server here. Okay, so before I go ahead and explore the settings inside air server, let me go ahead and uh, connect my iPad. All right, so. I have my iPad here. Let me see if I can get the AirPlay icon. Okay, so here you go. And I'm going to connect to Studio. And uh, the mirroring is on. So you can s see that it's being mirrored. I can just move through. It's as good as uh, the other application, Reflector. Now let's see how it goes when I stream a video. So going to stream a video I'm going to same stream the same movie
Okay, so it's good. Yeah, the clarity is good. The sound clarity is as well good. So let, me, let me exit out of this. Okay, so now let's explore uh, what we have here. Settings. So I can set a password. It's, it's uh, I mean, it's possible with reflector as well. I didn't show that. I can select uh, the audio channel. Uh, through which it you know uh, when when I play something on my iPad which audio channel should it use so I can select that here and I can also select which display I have only one display right now but if I have a dual monitor I can actually select which monitor should air server use to uh, stream videos and all those and I have a mirroring tab let's see what's in here Okay, so basically it says, you know, the same thing what we did. This means you can wirelessly and securely stream whatever, whatever is on your new iPad, iPad 2 or iPhone 4 to your computer running air server with mirroring feature enabled. Yeah, <clears throat> so you can optimize it for, uh, you know, the device that you're using or you can just select any device which will automatically detect what you're using and it, it optimizes according to that. And uh, these are uh, other cool features you have. You can adjust the brightness, contrast. So let me adjust the brightness here. Wow. So you can see that it's getting adjusted. And you can also increase the sharpness. So it's, uh, it's not that good. You can adjust the saturation level. Okay, so that's, uh, that's about it. That's about Air Server. So both Air Server and uh, Reflector, they are equally good. The only advantage that you get with the reflector is that you can actually record whatever you do with reflector while with air so you can't do it. But it, that really doesn't matter, especially for people like me who use Camtasia or any other uh, recording software. It really doesn't matter if we have uh, built-in recording functionality. Uh, all right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.